So where we left off, Hannah is missing in action. And so um, in the nature of our show, we pick up right where we left off uh, in season seven. And Spencer and Emily and Aria are all, you know, in hysterics trying to find, trying to find Hannah. And so the whole question is, she dead or alive? And at this point, that is still a mystery. For Arya, um, you know, where we left off, uh, you know, in season six, her and Ezra were not romantically involved. They were just wor working together. They were friends, and you got to see them in a whole new light. But at the end of episode or at season six, you get to see them reconnect, and they just couldn't stay away from each other. So, uh, season seven, there's a little bit of a love triangle. Liam is still. Um, obviously Arya's boyfriend, um, she still clearly has feelings for Ezra and so you get to see who she chooses um, and I mean it's definitely the most romantic season of, of PLL I think to date. It's a big homecoming season so a lot of the characters you haven't seen in a while will be returning to Rosewood. Um, it's been revealed that uh, Jenna's back um, but I can't say who else is returning but a lot of old faces will be making an appearance so it'll be fun. Big reunion. This is going to be really the season of answers, I, I can promise, and I also think that it's going to be the most romantic season thus far. Now, when I say that, speaking for Emily, people are like, who, does, who are you going to end up with? Um, and you're definitely going to have to wait and see, but I, I, do, I do believe that this will be a season of romance for everybody. Where is Hannah? Are we going to find her? Are we going to do the season without her? I mean, these are questions that I have. You'll find out. Um, yeah. You'll find out. <laughs> I think it's just, you know, the perfect title to start the season, TikTok. Like, we, we're running out of time, and that is truly what it is. So, um, yeah, I think it gives that sort of sense of urgency. Not like the girls haven't had that urgency for the entire seven seasons, but really right now, there is an urgency to this. We're desperately trying to get Hannah back. <laughs> um, yeah, we, we really want to, I think that especially Spencer and Caleb, really feel responsible for Hannah's disappearance, especially as two people who consider themselves really smart. I think that they can't believe that they've been bested by whoever this new villain is, and they don't want Hannah to be hurt, and uh, so that's our main priority. Definitely a lot of love triangles. Um, well, I think, you know, Spencer doesn't know about the Hannah-Caleb uh, Hannah kiss, so that'll be something that will come out, and she and Caleb will have to face that, and whatever that does to their relationship. Right off the bat, it ends with, uh, you know, Hannah disappearing. Um, and so the beginning of this season is like high stakes immediately. Um, I feel like, you know, it took multiple seasons for a lot of questions to arise. Whereas like in six and seven, it's like questions come up. And I feel like at this point, everyone is like, we got to find the answers now. Do you know what I mean? So it's just, I think the intensity is a lot higher than it than any other season. Five years forward, so we're in our early 20s and uh, you know, that, that gives us some allowances for, you know, maybe a little more risque stuff. So we get to have some fun with that. But yeah, the love triangles, um, I think it's just because we all come back to Rosewood. So a lot of old wounds as well as old um, sentiments come back and uh, we sort of all get thrown through a loop in one way or another, you know, past loves and um, things like that. Season seven is great because it is really the, the season for romances and homecomings and Marlene King said it best, it's, it is really, it's for the fans. We continue to make the show for the fans. We give them what they essentially want. We listen to all of them on social media and uh, it's just gonna be really great. I think people really have fun with this. It's a wonderful thing to, especially as we, we're all approaching this sort of, what seems like the tail end of this story. It's good to sort of see people coming back. Like I know we're getting Jenna, we've talked to a couple other actors, won't say who yet, but are are possibly coming back and doing a story. And that that's really wonderful from like an actor's perspective. And, and in terms of excitement, we start off this season with a couple of big bangs. Again, I don't want to give away much, but, um, and then it just kind of continues from there. Ezra, as, as we saw the tail end of last season, was in a pretty dark place. And he um, started to come out of that. And I think the last episode is really sort of a, 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 a hurrah for him um, and, and Arya as well. So I'm interest, interested to see where that goes. Because it actually, like, things look bright for him. 
And it, when in Rosewood, that's always very dangerous. That's usually when like life just dumps on you. Um, so things look cool for right now. We'll see how long that lasts. When I started the show, I think I came in second season, somewhere in the early part of the second season. I thought it was just going to be a couple of episodes. And it started to turn into a really fun gig. I fell in love with Jessica and the whole De Laurentiis family and the whole PLL family. And it has been a wild ride that just keeps getting better. It's the writing, it's the actors, it's the crew, it's the fanship. I mean, this is the most fun that I've ever had. Mystery, mystery, and more mystery. And yet the beauty is that nearly every week you will get reveals. It's romantic, it's intense, it's, um, it's a lot of fun this season. Last we saw, the Pretty Little Liars, Hannah was definitely in, in, in some type of grave distress, we could say, and, and we pick up right where we left off and, and we, we take off with a bang. It's, it's, a, it's a really special premiere. It's really exciting. There's a lot of emotion. There's a lot of drama. And there's some, I don't want to give it away, but there's, there's some great stuff that we've never done on the show before. And it's, it's exciting and fresh and new. This is the end, the beginning of the end of PLL as we know it. So it's, it's a special season for, for all of us. And, and we're really excited to tell big stories this year. And the, the premiere episode, definitely TikTok bitches says a lot. There's a time clock involved. A's given, given the Pretty Little Liars an ultimatum. And, and, and they will go to extreme odds to, to try to save their friend Hannah. It's definitely the most romantic season ever, I think. That's what we've set out to do, and I think we're, we're accomplishing that as we break the stories. We've got a lot, of, uh, a lot of great shipper fans out there who have their favorite couples, and our couples have been, you know, they were, a lot of the couples were on the outs last season, and, and this is what we're calling a homecoming season and the season of bringing people back together. So we're really excited about that. There's a lot of OMG moments. It's probably where we want to make it the, the, the biggest, the best, the, the loudest, the brightest, the most romantic, uh, the biggest twist, and, and definitely the, the biggest reveal of, of all time will come this season when we find out the identity of Uber A.